up to today. I was talking to him for like just a little bit right before stream, but then I had to start stream so I didn't actually get to like catch up with what he was actually up to, but I'm pretty sure he's probably exhausted from like studying and stuff yesterday. He had a um he had an exam yesterday that he thought was Thursday, I think. It, or, or today. I'm not quite sure which one was for him. And basically he did make it in time. He like rushed and made it to the exam in time. But um, he was just kind of wiped out because it was nothing that he'd actually like studied for in that specific exam. Uh, like the, the whatever the theory was or whatever was not one that he's practiced. So, yeah, he's probably a bit wiped out at the moment. I wouldn't be surprised either. He also, as far as I know, he also had like friends over and stuff. So it was a big day yesterday. It'd be around what he could be around. I know it will be. That said, I think he, you know, everybody has... Whoops. That is not what I want to do. Everybody has, like, you know, uh, a life in IRL. And pretty much, like, whenever people can be here, they'll be here. So I don't expect to see everybody every single day. Like, most of the time, like I said, like, unless you guys chat, like, I don't know. Oh, damn. They have put up so much here. So much food. Oh, that's not... Oh, yeah, that's, um... Oh, what do you call it? An undercovered area. So yeah, what I'm gonna do here is I think it's okay fertile area. So I kind of just want normal, I don't care if it's rice per se. I just want like a little grow zone up in here. Kind of be about the size of where that is. So if this is, let's make it rice. Yeah, rice. I have a lot of rice around the map, but this will do fine. Um, We'll get rid of the... I thought I got rid of the electricals, but I guess I only got rid of the flooring. There's some parts I can't grow on, but if it gives me like an extra area of food, I can't see it as a harm. I have so much like grow area here. Um, this is basically just all food and I'm going to grow like crazy while we're kind of in like the off season. I have so few people here. I don't know if I've got enough people to tend to all my crops, but I think I do. I think I've got cooks. And I have people that garden, and I don't have anything to cook right now. So that kind of sucks. My people don't have anything. And my animals, my pets and stuff, they eat so much as well. Like, they go out and they hunt just the wild animals. And it's a bit of a problem. I probably should. No, i got those set up to tame. They'll be fine. Another thing I want to do, too, if I can get away with it, is get some fucking electricity in here. Because I've only been trying for like three weeks, you know. Like, I'll get there eventually, but goddamn. Alright, another game of uh, these ones. They've got one in a chest thing. So I'm going to put like some intellectual stuff around the place. And I'm obviously going to put statues and shit. So instead of having this be a storage room, I decided to have it be a, um, what do you call this thing? Like a mini rec room in the center. I'm not going to have, like, anything super fancy. Like, I don't know if I'll put TVs or if I'll just put TVs in, like, this one. Um, what I could also do is I could... I know I keep saying, like, I'll do this as, like, an enclosed proper grow room or something like that that's, like, away from the elements. But I don't think this place is too bad. It's permanent summer. So we've been getting food around the clock here. And we kind of have a lot. Like, 41,000 rice. That's more than my other base could make. Um at like peak production with all my people and stuff. So it's not too bad. I don't have a lot of pemmican though. Is that, I might not be storing it in here. I don't think I've got to store it in here, but have I got it in both? I do, that's fine. I can need a little bit more space since this is fresh, not refrigerated. Does that count for you? Yeah, fresh, not refrigerated. I don't know. You actually need to be in fridging area. I thought that that was fine. That a solar flare. Well, that's not going to help us. So basically all electrical devices are going to shut down for a day. This is where I was talking about, like, when my power goes down, I'm actually at risk of, like, losing so much food and my base is seriously at risk then. But what I also need to have a look at, the few connections of electricals I need to fix in the space. That needs to connect up. That needs to connect up. Um, this whole center area, that's fine. The 
this one's connected. This is on a good grid itself. It doesn't have like the perfect power, but it's getting there. I think I've got some wires already like laid down in there. That one should connect out like sideways. What else we got? Alright, that one's broken. And that one's broken. I'm hoping if they could like repair that, it would make such a massive difference. I don't think I've got that much steel though. I think they literally took the steel that we brought in and they built this because I wasn't paying attention and that got built. But that happens so like this thing also requires like about a hundred steel so when my caravan comes back, not that lot, this lot up here, when these guys come back <coughs> with their like 200 steel at least a hundred of it's going on the fucking uh, geothermal power, which is frustrating. And then probably the rest of it will go on like repairing things that might be broken. But realistically, I need them to like repair this section here. So I'm just trying to get around and see if there's any like, like there's a lot of like little bits and pieces around the place. And the thing is like, I know if they make it, it will help. But fucking hell is it frustrating because I'm like, I'm just waiting for them to like come in and finish like certain things. Like there's also that. What is this visitor? You got some stuff to trade, do you? Alright. Um, I know you're asleep, corpsey. Where are you, mate? You're like one of these guys here. Actually, no. Sorry, you're that one, aren't you? Yeah. Got it eventually. Alright. Yeah, if you can go do a trade, they're not going to have much, I don't think. Alright, so, oh look, they're already fucking planting it like crazy. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine fucking people out here planting stuff. I don't know if Beaver's actually doing that. I think they might be grabbing. You guys just grabbing? Yeah, okay, then I would say probably five people at least doing planting. This is what I've been talking about. It's like I literally have at any given time at least five people available to do any task that I like need which is kind of good it's just reliable in a sense of knowing that something will get done pretty much as soon as it's available to be done like they'll plant all this if I've got at least five people that are planting things I'll have five people going through and harvesting like all these crops going to come due at different times like the rice is done rice is ready mind you this rice down here I don't really want them I'm just going to say I won't allow them to cut this rice and this is just for animals. The corn, though, is not. And I really should stop growing corn down there. But anyway, actually, I'll allow them to cut that. But yeah, this is, like, animal space. They'll eat that. Hopefully, they'll put some in there. The animals can access that little area. Hammerkin Hills. What's you got? You've got, like, 200. Okay. Mm, you would probably buy a little bit of clothing it's kind of a light trade it'll get me more space oh geez that's expensive uh instead of that i'll take something that's like a couple of these very close go back a little bit not that many jesus take next one this i can sell you two bolts of cloth yeah like that there we go i get your money i get your food and you get clothes and that also gives me a couple of, like, bits of space. Not much. I really need to, like, check out these, like, bedroll things. Not all of these are good and I need to sell them. So what I'm going to do, I call in for a trader. I don't know if they would buy that. I'll call in for green. Green and yellow need to get me a trade. All right. I don't think it matters who I send for this. Have you got social? I'm pretty sure you do. Yeah, you do. You got a 12. Oh, I can't use it. Solar flare, of course. Um, also, it is spring, so I do not need any of my fireplaces. And don't refuel them. And yeah, all the other ones are off. It's fine. And my next question is probably were these set to off? They don't look like it. You guys can turn those off. I think that's the only spot I've got heaters. Alright, and how's Dragon doing? I make a soft revenge, that's fine. I'm down to like seven. I feel like that's taken ages. Oh shit, Jackal. 
Um, yeah, that ain't going to help you. I also desperately need to get steel for turrets here with like things like this. A jackal's going to go down for sure. Cammy might get a couple of good shots off here. No, 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 Cammy, Cammy, come back. Come back. Can you attack? Fucking hell, go for it. You two, keep running. Eventually, I'll come past somebody that's got a long distance. Wow, my, my fucking cat's going for it. Can we attack this, please? Look, I don't care. Just fucking melee attack it. Jackal, how's your health? Health is alright. Oh, come on, Panther. You could do it. Nine hours. You can operate on medicals. Uh, probably not that high, actually. I kind of want to leave the really good shit for um, my people. Go back to where you gotta go. Yeah, you must be bonded with that one, I would say. Who are you bonded to? Uh, came near Panther. You are, yeah, bonded to Cammy. Fucking good on him. My animals aren't usually hanging around the person that they're bonded to. I don't have that set up. I also need to get this floor done as well because medical stuff, but at the moment it's the best kind of medical area I can afford them. Also, I have animals getting in here for fuck's sake. Um that way and I'm guessing back that way yeah all right since this has mostly got a roof I should be able to ask my miners which are gonna love this cause fucking hell if I got a bunch of fucking people that their entire job is mining that's all they want to do and I have so much to do here hey chillin welcome in how's your night going I have a bit of a drink of water come on There we go. That can't hurt. It works out happily lifting poor to greet chillin. No. Not with some extra pats. Is this... This is sterile tile. Nah, uh uh You guys stop doing that. Stop working on that. This is... This is another thing. Just a simple little oversight like this. And I had no idea that they were working on it. I could say don't work on the new areas. There we go. Okay. The amount of steel and silver... That is being wasted right here is fucking nuts. I could just undo all of that and I could get so much. So I so happily receiving pats. This is nuts going fine. Nice. Wake up early tomorrow so I'm not staying for long. That's okay. I appreciate you coming by and saying hello. Hanging out for a little bit. Um, yeah. And hopefully you get like, you know, a good rest when you do like decide to go to sleep and whatnot. I'm pretty much like dealing with a solar flare at the moment with my colony. So I can't do like anything and my food's going to spoil. So yeah, it's a little bit um, concerning. Uh, also, did my caravan? Not yet. How's this going? I got a caravan trying to go out. I'm going to steal 16 people today. Like no holds bars. They're coming home with me, whether they like it or not. I don't give a shit if they've got chemical fascination or if they're murderer, psychopath, fucking animal whatever whatever goes they're coming home and um, give me like 240 odd people why are all of you guys so far out who is is somebody in this group asleep because you guys are way spread out none of you are asleep here what about down here uh you're asleep can i wake you up okay so i'll wake you up and you're now forming caravan you're wandering all right. Normally it's just like somebody or the worst case scenario is when you have an animal asleep. I don't know if you guys get this, but like my animals on the caravan fall asleep sometimes like these two horses. And I don't know what it is, but my people will not literally caravan if an animal's asleep. When you get a lot of them and they go through like various stages of like, you know, hypothermia or heat stroke, food poisoning, malnourishment, whatever is going on. And they just like go one after another of just like waiting ages. But um, it shouldn't be that bad today. If I could get, you're going to make something. Uh, you're going to haul stuff. If I could get you to activate that. Because everybody's in a good mood. They're all in a good mood at the moment. I want to keep them in that mood. So we can get the fuck out of here and go steal people. Because that's just kind of what I do. I like taking people. 
Um, who up here is in the caravan? I thought you were. Is somebody asleep again? You guys are awake. You guys are all awake. It's got to be the fucking horses or something. You guys are awake for sure. There's people up in here though. You guys are just hanging out. Yeah, you're hanging out. Shadow's there. Chalky. Yeah, they're all just wandering around at this point. So it's got to be the fucking horses being asleep. And the worst part is you can't. You can't force them to be at, like, attention or drafted or something. So there's, like, four horses that are asleep. Ugh. And stuff's rotting. That doesn't surprise me. Flare, I don't have that. I do not have backup energy at the moment. This side's got energy, and I think this has got, like, a little bit. I'm glad I noticed this flooring before it got too far. This would be why I did not have any steel. I'm like, I'm pretty sure I brought home steel. What are you doing, mate? I see. What are you literally doing? To a lamp. Fucking hell. Do we need that lamp? I don't think so. Um, this is how fucking critical. <laughs> this is how critical my steel situation is. Where did you get that from? Where did you find steel here? I've got like 1,000 steel. Where is it? Is it over here? I lost my steel, if anybody's wondering. I, I don't know how you misplaced like 1,000 fucking steel, but I did it. I could not tell you where the fuck it is. It's not here. It's not in like my primary storage. Um, it's on the map. I just don't know where. It's somewhere. Let's just throw a spike in a tree. No. I can mirthless. How's your nap? How's your day going too, by the way? Um, oh, is that? That is ground. Lol. And it's the third set of new lovers, Lorena and Halsam. They're both seeing about our own shooting skills and they're lovers now. Sweet, that's like the third set of lovers today, which is fantastic because that's three less beds that I require. <laughs> it's literally just like they'll pair up. I've got so many beds, but I need them to be couples. That's the only way this works. No tail wags happily each treat. It's very well, thank you. How, how are you this evening? I am okay. The Kit Kat reports you got yard at your actions uh, to to squeak and fright perhaps kill them. Oh, come in. I don't know. I like my brain just like short circuited because I said ah uh, and I was going to make like a more of a squeak ah uh, and then I'm like but I already ah uh, so I can't go back and squeak so it was like voided unfortunately. <laughs> it runs to kill and wakes to happily. No. Yeah. No. I'm. I am okay. Um, I found out I, uh, what do you call it, had my hospital appointment today. So that was interesting. I found out that when I passed out recently, it was actually considered a major medical event. Um, and I probably should have gone to the hospital, but we weren't aware of that. So yeah, if that happens in the future, if I pass out again anytime soon um, and Nick can't go, uh, like if I'm unresponsive and it can't wake me, uh, he has to call an ambulance to get me to hospital ASAP. So yeah, that was interesting because I didn't realize that um, what had happened the other week was so serious. But yeah, basically overall, I'm kind of like in really, really poor condition. Like my overall health is like really poor at the moment, which is understandable. A couple of months of just like basically uh, no to little sleep, uh, constantly sweating non-stop, um, like uh, dealing with dehydration, multiple medical conditions, like so on and so forth. You guys have heard it all. Um, like literally just like it's it's been a long time of a lot. The need to take better care of yourself. I literally can't, Gilon. Um, without the air conditioner, I, I cannot get into a place where I can – recover from the temperature um also my sleep schedule is normal for me for starters um so i sleep during the day i'm awake at night that's when i naturally am awake i cannot sleep at night i try and i don't fall asleep until 5 a.m so i'm wasting my time um so i be productive and i stream and i edit and i do stuff i chat with you guys and then i go to bed usually speaking in the morning but because my air conditioner died at the start of summer um if you can imagine 32 degrees to like 42 
degree days um, Celsius and like you can't get out of the heat. I've got multiple medical conditions. I'm like one of those high risk people as per like in general. Um, so yeah, I can't sleep when I am sleeping. I'm getting really poor sleep. Um, my, I'm sweating profusely. I can't keep up my hydration levels, all those sorts of things. Like it's been really, really difficult and there's just nothing we could do about it because um, basically our air conditioners died before Christmas and we were kind of waiting on being able to A, afford it and B, get scheduled in because it's post Christmas and everybody wants their air conditioners either repaired or replaced. So we've had to wait and we're getting that fixed, well, replaced in the bedroom this week, this Thursday. That's why I've got Thursday and Friday off this week. Um, so I'm going to take Thursday and Friday off and I'm just going to try to kickstart recovering and try to get into like some sleep and some rest. Cause the other thing too is like, I literally can't like um, I can't relax either because it's just unbearably hot and uncomfortable. And like, what I would normally do to relax a bit to watch shows or read or something. And you can't really do that when you're like basically um, a faucet. Um, the hey, hey, been a minute since I popped in. What did I miss? Not much. I'm on my way to steal like a hundred. Well, sorry. I'm on my way to steal 16 people. So we'll have 240 something following us hopefully soon. And I was just updating everybody on, I had my uh, hospital uh, visit today. So yeah, I kind of got like some feedback on how I'm doing and stuff like that. Now, how you been, Angel? What have you been up to as well? Um, yeah, so basically pretty much once my air conditioner is replaced and I can start sleeping when I'm supposed to be sleeping and I can start having some downtime in the cool where I can recover from the day's heat um, and actually like get a mental reprieve from just bombardment of elements. I can pretty much uh, kind of, yeah, just start recovering. And then from there, I'll, oh yeah, everything else should go back to kind of normal. It's going to take a little while. I reckon at least probably two weeks minimum before I start actually having energy and like thought capacity and stuff back. If not, probably up to a month before I start really feeling better, you know. Um, so I did an ungodly six hour stream immediately got some devil's lettuce to calm and collect myself absolutely insane doing all right though hospital is pretty serious mate yeah no i'm all right god that sounds like yeah fucking calming down after long streams is is necessary uh, not a lot of people if i can talk about it but like if you do like a six plus hour stream it's really freaking taxing there's a lot of like strenuous involvement in that um it's like con constant mental onness if that makes sense but yeah, no, I don't blame you. Sounds like you're relaxed as you as you needed to. Uh, as for hospital stuff, I've got multiple medical conditions, and I needed to be checked over for like how everything's going because um, it's been really hot, and um, I've just been really unwell. So yeah, basically, I found out that. Um, lately I had apparently a major medical event and I was unaware of it and I if it happens again I need to call an ambulance and get to hospital because extreme extreme temperatures um serious dehydration m multiple medical conditions like it, it was a lot um I just like when you're in that state you don't have the mental capacity to think properly either so I didn't rationalize the whole overall collective situation as I should have reacted properly, which is fair. Nick now knows as well, so he knows what to do um, to try to regain my consciousness. And if it fails, he calls an ambulance. Um, was that you were telling me the other day about that stuff with the conditions? Yeah. Yeah, now I've got a few. Um, Some has been long, but we get the air conditioner. We got confirmation message today, this afternoon. We got a confirmation message to say that it's arriving Thursday, Thursday lunchtime, and then I'm actually sitting up straight at the moment, chilling. No, no court prawning. I will hydrate though. Um, yeah, the air conditioner will arrive about lunchtime and get like start getting installed. They've basically got to rip out a split system unit 
from inside and outside and replace it and get it all working. So our bedroom's going to basically be a mess. I'm going to have so much like cleaning and washing and all sorts of shit, which is kind of frustrating. That ain't going to happen. I can tell you right now. Oops. Well, if I can just spilt that on myself. Yeah, no, I know you're in the caravan, but mm, I got shock lances. Does anybody not in the caravan? Are you not in the caravan? You are. You aren't either. So who did I? Must be odd. That has it. All right, look. You're gonna have to go melee attack because they're not getting ambrosia, and I'm pretty sure that they're in the caravan. So that's gonna be fun. Yeah, up here in Brizzy, where I am. I had 32 degrees as a low for the entire week, sleeping in the heat for the past week and a half. It's been tough on me. It gets hotter during the damn day. Yeah, so I'm in Brisbane, Queensland myself too. So we've been getting up to like 42 and shit. Um, and yeah, it's been fun. The heat waves have been amazing this year. It's been like one after another, but the two cyclones up north are not helping it. <laughs> yeah. Well, did I get you down or are you just like actually... Are you wrenching at the moment? Because, mate, that ain't going to happen. You could have chocolate for fuck's sake, mate. You, you could have anything, but you're not having that. All right. Odd, I know you're in the caravan. I have, like, 13 people on this. If oh, I can't get him to drop it, but I'll tell you what. I'll remove you from the caravan. I've got 13 people, and I think eight's all I need for this. Actually, Enge, if I can get you to rescue, that would be great. Um, that's going to help. Yeah, no, as you know, Brisbane has been amazing for, um, the various heat waves of summer this year. It's been pretty good. And I've even like reported on like some of the, like the night temperatures have been very hot. Like last night was like 23 degrees or something at like 3am. It was hot. You going to sleep now? No worries. Chilling. I hope tomorrow goes well for you and you get up nice and early and all that and whatnot. I'll, I'll catch you next time. Let's see. It's like, I've got a good statue. What else have I got in here? I've got a couple of statues. I've got excellent. i got an excellent statue. Oh, I've got two in here. I've got one. Probably pop another one in here. Honestly. I, they'll, they'll like their statues. They don't get a choice. Um, yeah, 32 for 3M. You got awful. Yeah. Oh, that's the hardest thing is... Um, you also get humidity. I don't know about you, but humidity smacks me around probably the hardest. So, like, I get nosebleeds and fainting and shit if it gets humid enough. And it's been a lot of, like, 50-plus, 80-plus humidity days this year as well, which has been abnormal. Like, it's usually a dry heat. Like, it's it's been different. Um, it's been a fucking experience. I'll tell you that much. I'm looking forward to the next couple of days where like potentially, you know, um, when the air conditioner is all like up and running and stuff like that. And I can actually start to like rest and actually recover. Cause like the biggest thing too, is for the last like two months, it's not even just about like the crappy sleep and or like the constant heat and like fatigue and weakness and stuff. It's also got a lot to do with like just the general, um, what do you call it? I fucking lost something there. Give me a sec. Um, it wasn't like the heat. Fucking hell, I love my brain. It's fantastic. I lost the sentence. I will get so close. Hold on. There we go. All right. Um, I don't know. If I remember it, I'll come back to it. But yeah, it's been shit. <laughs> Head pats, lol. Um, also, Nightwolf has been like happily laying at my side this whole time. Happily looks at Wolf Plush. No, nah, Wolf Plush is still safe. Wolf Plush is still all safe at the moment. I'm waiting to see these guys go out. Jeez. Yes. Jeez, indeed. Are you guys going to leave or what? Because I'm pretty sure you're fed. Red, if I can get you up. If I can get you wake up. I don't know. I think he's just going to walk around. Look, if I remember what I was saying later, I'll fucking repeat it. I'll finish the sentence or whatever. Um... I don't know. I could definitely say that, like, thought capacity is, like, uh, low this, like, last couple of months. I do feel sorry for basically everybody that's only just met me for the first time in the last couple of months. Because you guys really haven't had the full fucking experience yet. Um, it will come back eventually. I will have energy. I will have, like, better jokes, better memory and stuff like that. It will come back. I just 
you know, it's going to take a little while to recover. It's been a long time. That works out happily. Um, it's rather damp air. I suck the humidity here real quick. But I watched somebody literally fill up a fucking four liter bucket uh, a couple of nights ago with like their dehumidifier or whatever. I'm like, Jesus, the room wasn't that big, but it still did it. It's still so much, so much water in the air. Doesn't surprise me. You thought um, not a gremlin for once, did you? What? No, I know. You're like, you're around. You're around, Killon. I I also saw you like resisting boops earlier. For anybody that doesn't know, Killon doesn't want to be booped. Just to confirm that, because I know like, I know Viking likes um, tickling Shadow and booping and stuff like that. Shadow's not around at the moment, so like he won't do it to anybody that doesn't like it. I know that. Jesus Christ, I just want these animals to get the fuck out of here. I had to remove one guy, which, by the way, if they take long enough, I'll just put the guy back in there. They should be all happy. I think they're just having a nap. Tails having to sleep. Alright, my caravan's still on the way up. Still working their way up. And let's go back to Salvation and fuck around here for a while. Spend some time, you know. Um... Humidity is at god awful 90% cross my that doesn't surprise me at all. It feels like that because I had a shower a couple of hours ago and my hair stayed damp 